Data can be collected on anything, even video games, but it's important we know what kind of data we are collecting. For this, we have variable types. One type of variable is an identifier, which is any variable or set of variables which is structurally unique for every population unit. It cannot and will not repeat. So we could collect on the race ID, which would be just our unique race ID number. Our next variable type is categorical. This is a variable that can take on one of a limited and usually fixed number of possible values, thus assigning each occurrence to a particular group or category. Think about it for a moment. Any answer you give that would assign something to a group, always think critically about the answers to the questions. Have you played before was answered with one, which is a group, all people who have said yes. Which racer did you pick was answered with Baby Mario. It is categorical and not identifier because it can repeat. Are you ready for the last variable type? Here we go. So far we've only dealt with variables that put things into groups, but we need a variable that can handle actual real numbers. A quantitative variable is a variable that is numeric. They represent actual measurable quantities. The numbers you observe in your data will represent an actual amount. So let's think about some quantitative variables for our Mario Kart race. How many coins someone collects must always be a whole number, so we would call it discrete. The duration of the race has a decimal, so it must be continuous. Although age is reported as a whole number, it can take on values with a decimal, so it is also continuous. Variable types is at the heart of everything we do in statistics. It is very important to be able to distinguish between identifiers, categorical, and quantitative variables.